Well, the great thing about the press room is we get to meet all sorts of crazy and international superstars. Don's, no less, is here with us at the Amsterdam Dance Event. Welcome, Oliver. Uh, thank you. Welcome. You've, uh, you've got a few parties to play this week. I believe you've got uh, one tonight, or was it yesterday? It's you actually played? the only one, because we decided it's our first label party from King and Com Cuts, or KKC. And I was like, okay, I play only for my party. And I want to enjoy that conference a little bit more because the last years playing too many gigs means getting up at like midday or one and missing all the meetings. So we, I kept it a little bit more easy this year. So do you, you actually do come and try and to make as many meetings as possible to link with as many people as possible? Um, not necessarily too many meetings like pre-organized because like you meet anybody everywhere. That's the beauty about Amsterdam. You have like the Merritt and the Dylan and you see everybody. So like we have like maybe 30 meetings set up and the rest you bump into each other anyway. And back in the days you did like every 30 minutes or 50 minutes one meeting and I think it's more relaxed if you really take a little bit more time, talk when it fits and so, but it's busy. So tell us a little bit about your production stuff, what you're up to, what's going on with, with Don's. Um, I'm actually almost concluding or close to conclude my second album. I have 10 singles ready so far. I took a little break of releasing singles since February, so I haven't really released a track besides some remixes because I simply wanted to feel the atmosphere because for the moment, like, DJs tend to release one track every two weeks for weeks and I simply wanted to get a feeling for, like, what I like if I want to do the same. And now I have like four singles are completely ready and now I'm just deciding which one I, I will release first. That's okay. the process for the moment. So, and I cut down on remixes because I realized I did maybe too many in the past two years. So I'm carefully selecting what I do for the moment. So how do you fit that in the studio work with uh, a busy touring schedule? You know, is there, is there, do you take time off for that sort of thing? Or? I actually did take time off after the summer. I had like two and a half months where I didn't see my home. And then I was like, okay, Feb uh, September, like uh, it was a little bit easy. And then October preparation for ADE. I played like five gigs in October, plus the one tonight. And that left enough time to conclude or finalize the productions. Okay. And but you have to, because like when you tour like every weekend, you are sometimes too tired to go to the studio. And I really like to be in the studio. And same with for my radio show. I do a weekly radio show and it's very time consuming. It's like you can say it's like at least two days of work, like selecting music. Preparation. Yeah. yeah. Do you get sent a lot of stuff for the radio station? Is it quite popular? I don't want to complain, but um, after two and a half months, I had like over 5,000 emails in my inbox. I really get like up to 200 promos a day. That's fantastic. So That's like for other people, I can't listen to all of them. So I select like the brands I know, the good promo agencies. I tend to listen to them first because you know there's good stuff coming. You can always forward them this way. That's fine. Yeah, That's I'm fine. more than happy to have somebody to pre-select for me. Um, so what about the next year? What have you got planned for the next year? Uh, as I said, the album. Yeah. Then we are a little bit relaunching the label, Kingdom Come Cuts, because we had, frankly spoken, two tough years because everything changed so much. So like increase of sales and physical went out of the market completely. So we had to adjust. And I did a major deal with uh, one of the biggest dance labels maybe worldwide, Contour Records in Germany. So that we have kind of a label deal. So we had to get into a common flow of business. And now for the first year, I'm very happy. So that's, that's gonna be a little focus for next year. We have a lot of new signings, new talents, which we will do. And I will maybe change a little bit the way I play. I don't wanna play that much anymore. To be honest, I wanna do, like a little bit more focus, I have a new management, my AM, and they sitting there, Noah. And I, I, I let's say like, I don't want to do more than eight shows a month. Okay, that's and still quite a hectic schedule though. Yeah, but if you want to do eight, you do, never always do eight. Like sometimes it's six, and that's perfect because I really want to focus on studio work again. Well, Oliver, aka Don's, we're full of love for you here. Thank you very much.